Okay, we will start the last event of this uh, conference. Uh, it was a very interesting conference marked with uh, the presence of many Chinese friends. Before I leave the floor to Benny Gans, I want to stress the fact that uh, uh, if we add the is Israeli population to the Chinese population, we represent one third of the world population. <laughs> and now I leave the floor to Benny Gans, who will deliver his uh, short speech, and afterwards we will start the panel. Benny, please. Thank you, Mr. President. I hate to be uh, the buffer between the end of the conference and yourself, uh, but I'm pleased to be here. Uh, I'm so very much pleased to be here. Uh, it is a very important conference. It has, I guess, uh, its own goals, and each and every one of us set his own, but all together, uh, definitely, an important event uh, that uh, represents uh, Israel with everything that comes with it. The panel will talk about the image of Israel. There is a huge difference between the image and, and, and the real Israel as we, as we all grew up in and as, as uh, we saw them. And, and the fact that this conference is happening here in Israel, uh, it is very important. Those are very troubling days as we see them uh, lately. Unfortunately, uh, we see lots of terror events in the last few weeks. Every day we go through some of them. Um, and in terms of security, uh, this, those are not easy days in terms of the atmosphere and in terms of the actual thing as we see them. Uh, I think the negative atmosphere as we see, the incitement and everything creates a room for extremists to operate. And it's actually, it's like a negative magnet that pulls out all the negative uh, extremists uh, as they are. Uh, and sometimes, unfortunately, uh, people, uh, in most cases, act as they should. And in many ways, in many cases, of course, uh, we have uh, no alternative but to continue our operation as we see them on the ground. Uh, but I hope that uh, uh, this negative atmosphere will get a change and, and people will calm down strategically and calm down, as a result of it, calm down security-wise, and from there maybe think and move to a different direction. Uh, no, doubt, no doubt that we can strive those days. We will overcome those days just as we overcome all previous events uh, as uh, we saw them. And I must say that, unfortunately, uh, we do go through this tragedy that we will be in the same place that we were three or four weeks ago, uh, and we just simply see uh, loss of life, uh, but we will stay strong and stay to, to our goal. I was asking myself uh, about the image of Israel and the huge gap between the image and what it really is. Now, everywhere you go, you have an image of something. If I would ask you here, what's your image of Brazil? Some might talk about soccer. Some might talk about the beaches. Some might talk about the nice things that they see on the beaches. But no one would have bring up the favelas of Sao Paulo, or Rio de Janeiro, or the very, very challenging security caused by crime and not just necessarily by, uh, uh, by 
security issues. Here in Israel, when you talk about image, what's the image of Israel? You brought me as an IDF 20th chief of staff. You didn't bring me because I went through agriculture high school or that I have bachelor degree in history or national resources management. You brought me because I am the IDF. Well, there are more things in Israel than just the IDF, and you know I'm a founder of the IDF. I like the IDF. I spent some 38 years there. But look at the subject of this matter, of this conference. High tech, real estate, telecom, invention, inter entrepreneurship, uh, everything that you can think of, creativity, that's Israel. Wineries, infrastructure, culture, history, beaches, things on the beaches, right? <laughs> and by the way, I'm not that much con convinced that there are so many other uh, conferences like this in other countries that are better than Israel. Last slide I saw from Beirut is the garbage uh, demonstration. I don't think there is one in Damascus right now. I doubt if there is one. I'm not too much informed in Cairo or in other countries. But nevertheless, here, at the post of militarism, you have a conference that rightly deal with so many other issues. So what I'm saying is there's a huge gap between what we are and what the real uh, issues and the, and, and, and the gaps, obviously, you can think of the, of the reasons of why these gaps uh, are not and what people are saying on us. Yeah? We do not respect human lives. Is that really the case? You want to tell me what came out of Gaza more than missiles? I will tell you what came out of Gaza more than missiles patient that came to visit Israeli hospital, and I'm very proud of it. But we don't have human dignities uh, to other. Apartheid. I don't watch TV too much. I'm sorry, maybe it's a disadvantage. I think it's an advantage. But I did see who chaired the meeting or the conference at the Knesset that expelled a minister from the post. That was an Arab parliament member telling an Israeli minister, step off the stage. That's apartheid country does that, right? But that's what people say they see. Uh, unfortunately, you would ask yourself, where would be the best place to be a Muslim in the Middle East those days. Is it Syria? Is it the Bakr of Lebanon? Is it Yemen? Maybe it's Israel, where people are being respected, as whatever the religious is. Um, people talk about us as aggressor. If you will check each and every campaign in the last several decades, each and every one of them, Israel was the strategic reactor and not the initiate one. Each and every one of them. Uh, so I guess it is very hard, and, and maybe there is some left organizations, propaganda, things that we may talk in the panel, but by and large we do face, I would say some kind of sometimes strategic hypocrisy. Uh, it's easier to see us as people want to blame us. Now, I'm not bypassing the fact that there is a political dispute between us and the Palestinians. There is a political dispute between Israel and the Palestinians. It should be dealt with. We should try and do whatever we can. We must take in consideration our security considerations. We must take in consideration the development as we saw them in the last few years in terms of active radical Islam and what it and how it influenced this region. But nevertheless, the government of Israel on all its parties said that 
they want to tackle this uh, issue, I think the Palestinians should do so as well and take responsibility for what we do and not just blame us for those issues as we see them through the reflection of different issues as far as Israel uh, image. Uh, so those are as far as the, the reasons for that, as far as the external reasons in Europe and other places. Uh, for us, it makes it very hard to be strong yet right. Uh, nevertheless, I think we should stay strong and we should stay right. And this is what we should do in the next few years as well. As far as internal reason, uh, I think we should uh, continue to argue with each other and among us, but we should not fight each other. And by fighting each other inside Israel, we create even more negative uh, appearances that are being mobilized by external elements into it. So Israel as I know it, through the eyes of the IDF, yes, it is a strong country. Uh, we have no alternative, so we will stay strong. The fact that we face such huge level of strategic necessities, operational necessities, etc., etc., it encouraged creativity along the years, and you all know what came out of it, uh, as far as technology, invet investments, and things like that. Uh, I came today from the south, Every time I go there, I'm once again very much impressed the fact that we are pushing the desert even, for, in, even more to the south. Uh, and it's the same desert like anyone else has it, right? So we will stay like that. I'm sure there'll be some kind of, I hope there'll be some kind of political engagement taking into consideration all our needs. And I hope for a, a better future uh, as well. But I would also say to the world, Israel, really, it's the only stable, cohesive, democratic post in the Middle East. All the rest are either not democratic or not as stable as Israel. And this is the anchor of stability and democracy and, and democratic values in the region. And I'm very proud being part of a society that even though we had to fight so many years, even though we had so many challenges, we succeeded to balance between different uh, aspects of society, whether those are culture, business, technological. You know, I'm currently involved a little bit with cyber issues and, and that type of stuff. It's magnificent what's happening out there in terms of capabilities and creativity of all of that. Uh, obviously, we need to face and really to face the challenge of delegitimization of Israel, of trying to portray different events where we have to fix things. We need to fix things. I'm not saying that we should not. But altogether, I suggest that we will not forget that we are right. Thank you so very much.